Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, Fox Hunter here, and I'm just jumping on with a quick update, and I'm currently playing on Medved, loosely working my Great One Moose Grind, and quick update about that specifically is, unfortunately, we still have not found hide nor hair of our Great One, despite being in the neighborhood of 900 to 1000 kills by now. Maybe even more, but again, I'm unable to play as frequently as others can since I work a day job, so I only jump on this map when I am able, and have lately haven't been as committed, I suppose, because of the frustrations associated with this grind. While I am practicing herd management still, I am not stacking my diamonds, and as a result, I am not really producing a lot of unique fur types, though I am producing diamonds hither, thither, and yon. So while I'm grateful for that, it's still for me just a very challenging, very dry grind, and I'm hoping to be done with it soon, but it's still going to take more time. What I really wanted to talk about today was EW's The Hunting Lodge live stream that's held every Tuesday and some of the updates that were hinted at by Jaxi Beard out of today's Valentine's Day themed live stream and we can expect an update within the next few weeks. It's not going to be within the next two weeks but it will definitely be soon and how soon I can't say. I get a feeling that it may not even be within the next month and so we uh, will be waiting for a little bit of time before we'll actually see the update drop. Jaxi was kind enough to drop some very strong hints as to some of the things we might be able to expect and when I say hints that's purely what it was. They were hints only, nothing concrete. So um, I thought I would jump on here and maybe comment on it, maybe offer up some theories I have about what could be coming. So please take everything with a grain of salt. If you know EW and you've played the game for a while, you know and probably can expect that this update will not include a brand new map. Maps typically come out twice a year during the summer and winter months. So that is very unlikely to be the case with this new update. He also did say that this will not include include any brand new species or species reworks. He did say, however, that this is an update that will include some things that the community has been asking for for a really, really, really long time. Probably since the inception of the game itself, which makes me curious as to what that means. Now, I'm fairly new to the community here because I only started my YouTube channel at the end of summer last year, so I'm not quite sure what he could mean by that, but uh, I do know that there has been some grumblings regarding things like the in-game transportation systems. We have to run around a lot, and if you're like me, a small YouTuber with a day job, spending upwards of 70, 80, 90 percent of your time running across your maps looking for things to hunt makes it very challenging to produce content so I imagine that that could be one of the things he's referring to especially since this sounds like it's going to be an equipment DLC that's coming down the pike. One thing that has been asked for frequently at least recently is whether or not we'd be getting new breeds of dogs with different support roles and uh, retrieval techniques and he did say that that unfortunately will not be happening with this update either, which is a little disappointing because I know a lot of people would like some varied styles and breeds of dogs to assist them on their hunts. Hopefully that'll be something that'll be coming down the pike later. There was something to come out of the New England update that was incredibly polarizing in the community and that was the update to the spook radius. And when I say polarizing, there were some people who accepted it as sort of a new challenging aspect of the game. It made it more realistic, certainly. But on the flip side, you had a lot of players very upset by this change, especially people who tend to do grinding because you can't take as many animals in a rotation as you could before, which of course extends your grind. Now that EW has seen a lot of uh, response from the community, and I'm guessing mostly negative to make them want to review this. It is on review and what that looks like, I'm not quite sure. It could mean that they're going to leave it as is. It could mean that they're going to turn it back to what it was previously. It could mean that they're going to do something in between as well. I mean, anything is possible I suppose at this point, but I know again it was an incredibly polarizing decision by EW to change the spook radius and now they're going to put that under review for this update. Update will include bug fixes for the Great One Moose glitch that occurs when you mount your Great One in your lodge. So if you're not familiar with what that is, it is once you encounter your Great One on your map, it'll be a particular fur type. 
And once you harvest it and mount it in your lodge, there's this glitch that changes the fur type and they're not sure why that was that was happening. But that's one of those things that's going to get fixed with this new update, which will be really, really cool because even though I don't have my great one yet, that was always a worry for me. It was something I did not want to experience. I want to have the great one that I encounter on my map and keep the fur type even if it's one I don't like so I'm glad to hear that that glitch will be addressed in this upcoming update. So with all that being said, what will the update actually look like? Well, there's a couple of theories that I have, but Jaxi Beard said as much that it's going to involve some sort of equipment update. And to quote him, he said it will, quote, improve certain styles of hunting and change how he approaches the gameplay, which is incredibly intriguing. When we talk about equipment, he also mentioned that one of the things that you might find in the DLC starts with a B and ends with an OOM, which Honestly, knowing Jaxie is probably just boom and could indicate that we're going to get a weapons pack with some high caliber weapons. Now, we already have some very high powered rifles and sidearms in the game, but what's a few more? We could definitely use them, especially on hunts like for Honga Savannah, where you encounter things like water buffalo. And yes, the 300 Magnum is nice, but it would be cool if we had more options to take them with. And it could be a prelude to new animals on new maps in the future. That would be very interesting as well. So when he says B and an oom, I'm not going to take it to mean anything super mysterious, but a something with a boom is coming. One of the things I mentioned earlier was the transportation system. It's very difficult to be running long distances all the time across the map, even though EW has come out to say that is an intrinsic part of the game and something that will continue to be so. So it's not like we're going to get an increase in the number of tents we can add to the maps, at least not in this particular update maybe in the future but for now it's just one of those things that we have to accept as part of the gameplay but the only mode of transportation we currently have outside of our own legs is the ATV. Now the ATV has its own share of problems. It's a very unstable platform. It's very difficult to navigate at least in the back roads areas. Sure you can navigate the roadways and paths pretty well but when you want to go off to say find a uh, animal you harvested that is incredibly difficult with all the logs rocks, trees being obstacles in your way. Plus it's loud. It's It's got a spook radius that makes the 270 spook radius blush and so you scare off everything else that you may be interested in hunting which creates more problems. I've long advocated for the idea that maybe they should add another mode of transportation to the game like say a horse. Now I did play a hunting game a long time ago that had this as an option and it was an incredible asset in that particular game. I really enjoyed it being part of the experience and that's something I hope that maybe they're looking at as part of this new DLC. Maybe that's one of the pieces of equipment that they're gonna look at. If it's going to change how we approach our hunting in the game, it could also mean that our lures and decoys are getting either a rework or a boost. We do have decoys in the game that's mostly limited to birds and waterfowl. It would be really neat to see decoys for like white-tailed deer in the game. I think that would be really, really cool and create another dynamic that would give us another hunting style option as well. One thing, now this is the wild card. I think this is the wildest of my theories, so bear with me. But the idea that they could introduce trapping in the game. Things like coyote are very difficult to hunt. They're highly alert. They spook very easily. And having an option to hunt by trapping, I think would be really, really interesting. And while it may not come down with this DLC, though, I mean, if if this is a pretty significant DLC, who knows? I would love to see it as a potential option for future updates. That would be great as well. But the last thing as far as an equipment or experiential update of that stripe, is concerned. The only other thing that I could think of really was potentially updates to the lodges. Now whether or not that means a brand new lodge, I don't know, but what it could mean is new mounts for our lodge. So one of the things that came out of the New England update that a lot of people were very excited and interested in was the idea that instead of mounting on your head mounts, your big mounts, and your multi mounts, maybe try creating animal skins out of your harvest. So like you could do a bear rug 
or an animal skin on a wall. And that of course would open up a whole new use of the space in our lodges and create new opportunities for hunts and refocused interest on different fur types and the way animals present in game. I think if you wanted something with a little bit of a boom or an oomph, that would also be a really cool, really neat update. And even though it doesn't come down with this particular update, if that's the case, then I would love to see that in some sort of future update as well. That's pretty much all we've got, guys. Unfortunately, EW has not mentioned a time frame for this other than to say it's not going to happen within the next two weeks. So you'll need to keep checking back on EW's official communication platforms. That includes YouTube, especially the Hunting Lodge live streams on Tuesdays. They may even host one a different day during the week, so please check in on that. You can also follow them on Twitch, Facebook, other places where you typically hang out on social media. Sign up if you haven't already, but definitely listen and pay attention to what may be coming down in the next few weeks. I know I'm excited and I'm insanely curious about what this could all mean, and I'm really looking forward to hearing what they have to say and what it is they're going to offer us in terms of updating and improving our experience on the Hunter Call of the Wild. Thank you all so much for listening to my update date and my ideas. I really appreciate that you come along on these review videos as well as on my adventures if you've been following my channel. And if you've enjoyed what you've been hearing and experiencing, again, please consider dropping a like and subscribing below. You can also ring that bell for when new content drops if you're not ready to subscribe. I'm happy to have you regardless, but at least you'll get notified when new content does indeed drop. And I will hopefully catch you on my next adventure. Bye!